All right, so we got Milo's turn here for training. Luckily, the kids are still out, still out playing some soccer, so that'll be a good distraction for them. What we're gonna just focus on is leash pressure. I want him to understand that when he feels pressure on the leash, that means that there's a boundary that he's hit, kind of like an invisible wall, and that he needs to redirect his focus back to the handler to slow down or figure out where we're going and what we're doing. So I'm gonna try my best to not have any verbal guidance, good boy, but I'll still give verbal praise. Good job, big guy, good job. The ball got away from them for a little bit there. Good boy, bless you. This way. So, I'm gonna have an idea in my head here where I wanna go. He's starting to pull and follow his nose, so I'm not gonna let him make any progress. Yes, good boy. All right. Especially with, especially with him, I want him to learn to give up and redirect his focus to me when there's tension on the leash. Okay. I'm gonna go in between these two cones. I'm gonna go in between these other two cones. Good. Now I'm gonna break right. And his nose has got him still going straight, so I'm gonna hold. Yes, good boy. And now that I have his attention, I'm gonna start again. And now I'm gonna break left. His nose has got him on the ground, so I'm gonna hold. Yes, this way. Good boy. Good boy. There we go, good. The goal here is to just make sure that he walks with us on a loose leash and he doesn't get to make any progress when the leash is tight. Yes, good boy, very good. So he responded a little bit faster that time, so I'm definitely going to reward him. We want to try to praise right away during that redirection moment. And then he can either follow us for a little bit or we can give him a treat right away as well. Just because he's got a little bit more experience in heel work, I want to kind of prolong the treat for him to kind of encourage him to follow continuously. Got the kids over there. Good boy. So now I'm just gonna walk towards the kids playing soccer. I'm gonna keep an eye on him here. Good boy. And I wanna see what he's focused on and where he's going. Good boy, very good. Yes, very good. So he felt the slightest pressure there because I stopped, he was still going forward. Turned around, good boy, very good. Yes. <laughs> Good boy. Okay. I'm gonna break left. His nose has still got him going straight. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Okay. Going nice and slow very purposeful movements just keeping an eye on where he wants to go and what he wants to do so he wants to go straight I want to go right he's still following his nose good boy yes gonna go right again yes good boy yeah good Okay, I'm gonna go back towards the kids. <laughs> Good boy. I'm gonna stop. Yes, very good. Good boy. I'm gonna go straight. Kids are gonna be on the right side playing. He's gonna be on my left. Yes, good boy. Good 
Good boy. I'm gonna stop. Yes, good boy. Ball's going back that way. Kids running. Yes, good boy. I'm gonna go this way towards the sidewalk. Yes, good boy. I'm not asking for his attention. I'm not giving any extra tugs right now on the leash for him to refocus. Just using the leash as a boundary and just giving him positive confirmation when he does the right thing. And he's starting to follow his nose here, but that's fine. I'm going straight, he's going straight. There's no tension on the leash. Yes, good boy, All right? Okay. Went a little bit too far ahead there. Yes, good boy. So I went ahead and stopped to make it a little bit more pronounced that he was getting too far ahead of me on the leash. Okay, good boy. And now I noticed that he wants to kind of go behind us. So I'm gonna go back, start walking again that way. And I'm gonna keep an eye on him. As soon as he starts to track something with his nose, I'm gonna turn right. Yes, good boy. Okay. I'm not gonna ask him to follow me. I'm gonna go. And that leash pressure is gonna naturally do the work for us. All we have to do at that point is recognize when he starts doing the right thing and let him know. Yes, good boy. Going this way. All right. Good, so now I'm going to the left of where he wants to go. He wants to go towards our right. You can see his interest there. So I'm gonna to go towards the right again. Good boy. Yeah. Starting to lose him a little bit. Oh, good job. Good boy. So especially there, when he redirected himself all on his own, without any leash pressure, without any verbal guidance, I'm gonna definitely give him that reward and the praise. He's going straight and to the left towards that black object. Now towards the sewer, good boy. Back towards me. Good. Now I wanna lead him to the black object so that way if he's interested here with the firework stuff, he can explore. Good boy. Yes, good job, All right? And the goal with that is there's gonna be plenty of times, especially when Milo is curious about something or apprehensive, where he may wanna pull away or pull towards it on his own. We want him to know that he should wait for us and we will guide him to that item that he's interested in. Whether it be his scent, whether it be something on the ground that he wants to explore. We don't want him to feel compelled to just go by himself. We want him to feel the pressure on the leash and then recognize that he's too far away from us and that he needs to wait for us, good boy, so that way he can explore it together. Good job. See if he needs to go to the bathroom or anything. We're gonna do a little bit of a real world neighborhood walk here. Same rules apply. As soon as it gets tight, I'm gonna take a right because he's following his nose. Yes, good job. Boy, I'm gonna go back again. Yes, good boy. Don't want him to feel punished for following his nose. I just want him to control himself while he's following his nose. Yes, good job. Just like there. He started track. Oh, he started tracking. Good boy. Hit the end of the leash, and instead of continuing to track and pull on the leash, he stopped and refocused back on the handler. Good boy. Good job, big guy. Yep. <laughs> good boy. Yes. Yes, good boy. I don't want him to not focus on the kids and the noise and the ball rolling around and them playing. I want him to know that I appreciate it when he refocuses back onto me. Good boy. <laughs> Good job.
good boy. It's nice, loose leash. I'm gonna go ahead and try to walk through the yard here on the sidewalk where they're playing. Okay, and now he's starting to pull because he's going too far there. I'm gonna hold leash as a boundary. Yes, good job. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Wait for him to refocus. Same here. He's following his interest and his nose, which is using the leash as the boundary. Yes, good boy. And I waited for him to refocus on me. Not for when the leash got loose, because usually that's gonna be good. But it got loose, but he started to follow his nose towards another scent. What I want him to feel praised for is redirecting his focus onto me. All right, so the leash is nice and loose. So I'm gonna start walking. Good boy. Okay. Leash is tight here because he's following his nose. Yes, good boy. Now we're gonna go together. Yes, good boy. And I'll let him smell the bike. Yes, very good, good boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna pull them away so that way they can get their ball back. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Okay. Now we're just gonna go back towards the course. Good boy. Okay. I'm gonna make some. Ch yes, very good. There you go. Good boy. Okay. And take a left. Good boy. And take a left in between the cones. Yes, good boy. And take another left. Good boy. You're gonna walk straight. Good boy. Good job. Give him a little bit of a break here. Okay. Good boy. We'll just start walking straight. And now wherever he wants to go, I'm gonna wanna go the opposite way. Yes, good job. That was really good there. We're rewarding him for responding to the slightest of leash pressure. Yes. Good boy. Good boy, because this exercise, <laughs> I'll wait for a loud motorcycle to go by. That one was really loud. Okay, so <laughs> because we're focusing on this exercise with leash pressure, I wanna still let him know that he's doing a good job when he redirects and focuses, but then I wanna really let him know by giving him additional praise and a treat when he responds to the leash pressure. Good boy. Good boy. So now, I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit. I'm not gonna ask him to stay or anything. He'll be kind of free to go and smell and wander. You know, try to help develop his break okay. by making it really pronounced. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, break.
And what I'll do now, good boy, yeah. So I'll try to follow him. This lets him know that it's his free time. He can use his nose. I'm gonna make sure that there's no leash pressure. He can go wherever he wants. Because he looks up to me for guidance, I'm just gonna start walking in a general direction. But if he starts going on a trail, I'm gonna follow that trail with him. And then conversely, when I want him to, you know, stay by my side, I'll give that command again and then I'll probably change a hard direction to get him to refocus and then giving him praise for when he follows me. So right now, even though he's redirecting his focus up to me, I'm not really giving him any praise. Good still. And then I definitely need to to work on that a little bit with him just to make those transitions a little bit easier right knowing when to start focusing and when to stop focusing there we go <laughs> good boy So I'm just following his eyes and his nose. I'm going wherever he goes. Good boy. Yep. <laughs> Go back here to the fireworks, see if that interests him. Good boy. All right, we'll go ahead and take a break. Still really good though. Good job. <laughs> 